Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol BYND. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. I'm not sure what I mean by 30-minute. I do offer an explanation video at that link, so if you go there, I'll explain in detail. Once again, a very dynamic movement price all over the place. Uh, I traded today. In fact, if you go to my main channel, um, I posted a live trade video of me trading this one today if you're curious. Uh, but as far as you know, levels going forward, the, the area that has gained just that much more, uh, that makes it so much more attractive and interesting going into next week is this 116 mark. Because once again, I talked about this in past videos, but you can see right there, acted as support, acted as support. And then we had this big old pullback here. And surprise, surprise, it bounced essentially right off that level. A lot of curiosity, what was the low? The low was at 116.42. So not too bad. I mean, when we're talking about a very volatile stock within 42 cents, as far as I'm concerned, that's essentially bouncing right off 116 again. So 116 is gonna be an area that a whole lot of people are gonna be watching, and this is not some sort of great discovery. And I say, I make that comment because a lot of people are watching. If, if people use charts, understand them, they're gonna be watching 116. And when a lot of people are watching the same area and wondering the same thing, Call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want. It can produce some very dynamic price movements. And that's exactly what we have going on here with 116. Now, granted, right now, the price isn't really that close to 116, but that's certainly gonna be a key technical level going into next week from the support side of things. If 116 is broken, uh, then the next level of support would be right around the 113 mark. As far as areas of resistance are concerned, if there is any sort of attempted movement back to the upside, very curious to see how the price reacts with that purple line up there, which on my chart is denoting the 50 period moving average currently valued at 122.38. If the price can get up above there, then the next key level essentially were the, uh, coming in from the highs of the day. But I don't wanna get too far ahead of ourselves. Let's just first see if the price can first get up to that 50 period moving average and then break up above it. But really for me, the main levels that I'm most interested in next week will be that 116 mark. So we'll see how the price plays out. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.